Time. No, it's all right. Granddad won't mind. Well, of course he won't. The shop's shut, so we won't be disturbing anyone. <laughs> Great. Where are these records of yours, then? Up in my room, on the shelf. You go and get them while I find the record player. Right. Now, where is it? Never seen this before. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Look who it is. It. Boy. No, it can't be you. It's impossible. Go away. Leave me alone. Come here. No. I said come here. Debbie. 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 Thomas. 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 Well, that's funny. Broken. Wrong. Thomas? Is that you? Wrong. Thomas, stop it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Did you say that? Correct. Who are you? My name is Happy. Major Happy. Well, you don't look very happy to me. Well, is it any wonder stuck up here like a fairy on a Christmas tree without a wand? Is it any wonder, eh? I ask you, is it, eh? I don't know, is it? No, it is not. Oh, my neck, it's proper stiff stuck up here like this. You look as if you should be holding something. Ah, yes, you've put your finger right on it, my dear. I should be holding something. My beautiful old gold glockenspiel, that's what. What's that? What's that? What's that? Surely you know what a glockenspiel is. Um, is it a musical instrument? Precisely. It's a sort of well, a frame thing, with little gold bells dangling on it, and a hammer that you bash them with. I call it me Glockenocker. <laughs> it's a beautiful old thing. Well, it was. Why am I whittering onto you? You don't want to hear my trouble. Oh, yes, I'm interested. What are all these pictures along here? What? Oh, that's all part of the world of music, the world of this musical box, me dear. Oh. See that land down there? Yes, that's where I live. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, it was, my dear, it was. Not a trouble, not a care. All was harmony and peace. Not anymore. My world's falling apart. Uh-oh. We're on the slippery slope to who knows where. You know what I mean, my dear? Yes, I'm afraid I think I do know what you mean. There's a bad apple in the barrel. A bad apple by the name of Tea Bag. Ah, you've hit the nail right on the head there, me dear. <sighs> not again. Suppose you'll be needing my help, then? No, oh, no. What? Well, there's no use closing the stable door after the horse has bolted, my dear. Well, what I mean to say is it's no good trying to help after the damage has been done, especially a mere slip of a girl like you. Oh, but I really can help. I'm sure of it. Hang on. I'm coming down. What? Right, I'll be with you in a moment. Now, let's see. That's where you live, you say? Uh, yes. Right, I'll meet you down there. Funny girl.
Off we go again, Debbie. I said come here. No, no, never, never. You'll do as I tell you. Won't, won't. I'll never work for you again. You're horrible and I hate you. You're wicked and mean and... Teach out. Not another word. You're working for me now and that's that. Like it or lump it. Lump it. I lump you, you insolent little brat. I thought we'd seen the last of you. Well, you thought wrong. Here I am and here I stay. How did you do that? I'm afraid there's no time for that now. Now, let's get down to business. Tea bag's here, isn't she? Correct. And what a nasty piece of work she is, too. You don't have to tell me. I've tangled with her before, you know. Get away. It's true. And I've beaten her more than once. You? <laughs> oh, pull the other one. It's got bells on. That is to say, it hasn't got bells on. You mean the missing glockish bill? Mm. Uh. All right, Major. You'd better tell me the whole story. All right, you better tell me the whole story. What's there to tell, my little T-shirt? Simply another example of my continuing genius. But I saw you destroyed. How did you get your power back? Destroyed? Me? Never. I may have been down, but I certainly wasn't out. I wandered alone, cast out like an old sock, as unloved as yesterday's leftover rice pudding, like a burst balloon at a birthday bash. Humbled, humiliated, reduced to begging. Begging for any old scrap. Please! No! But nobody wanted to know. I lived the life of a hermit, scratching around for anything edible to keep me alive. Roots, berries, mushrooms, flowers even. Oh, how I missed my regular cups of tea. I tried to make a cup out of anything and everything. It all tasted like muck, but I kept on trying. And then, one day... I tingled all over from head to toe. I gulped down the lot. What was this evil weed? Where had I found it? I remembered I'd found it growing up in the mountains. It could be only one thing. A high tea plant! So this is it then? Your high tea plant? Exactly. It flourishes up here in the mountains. Even more power packed than my last evil weed. Fragrant and fiendish. Delicious and dangerous. So get brewing fast. I told you, I don't have to do it, you say. Oh, don't you really? No. No? No. No? 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 Yes. 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 So get brewing. So tea bears got all her evil pals back again. Great. And new tea plants, you say? Quite so. Wonderful. All right, Major, you'd better tell me all about this glockenspiel of yours. Was there something special about it? Spit! I should, Coco. It was magical, wasn't it? Magical? Yes, it was all gold and... and magical. <laughs> How is it magical? I mean, what did it do? Well, it kept everybody happy, didn't it? Of course, that was in the good old days, before that wicked tea bag moved in. Oh, them was the days right enough. Every morning, I'd step out onto my balcony and herald each new day with a quick burst on me little gold bell. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, one and all. This is Major Happy with your early morning call. Come on, you sleepy heads, get up and greet another day. I'm here to keep you smiling, and this is what I say. Oh, who made you happy? Made you happy? Made you happy? Made you merry? Made you jump for joy? Who made you happy? Made you happy? Made you happy, every girl and boy. <laughs> So if you have a heavy heart and everything seems wrong, my glockenspiel will make you feel like bursting into song. 
If clouds of grey should spoil your day, get set for sunny spells. You're sure to sing when I start to ring my magic golden bells. Oh, oh, made you happy, made you happy, made you happy. Made you merry, made you for joy. Oh, made you happy, made you happy. Made you happy, every girl and boy. <laughs> By Jove, I needed that. <clears throat> now then. <sighs> oh, that can't be right. <clears throat> Stop that dreadful row this instant, you stupid old duffer. Oh, visitor. Where did you pop up from, then? Never mind that. Thanks to you, I've got a ringing headache. Oh, a little down in the dumps, are you? Well, never mind. You've come to the right place. I'll play you a jolly little tune. That'll cheer you up. <coughs> Who made you happy, made you happy, you made you happy? Out? For pity's sake, stop it! What? Don't you like that? Well, oh, that's a pity. It's a particular favourite of mine, that one. Oh, oh a severe case of the doldrums, I'd say. I'm going to have to find something pretty special to cheer you up. Right, let me see then. Must be something in here. Ah! Ah, now then, look at this little number. I haven't had a go at this one yet. I wonder if this will cheer you up. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Cake crumbs and crumpets, what's happening to me? Oh, what a magical melody. Guaranteed to clear up any bad vibrations, I'd say. Wouldn't you say so? I've got to put a stop to this at once. Enough! I hate music, and as for that thing... That's more like it. There'll be no more monstrous music around here, not while I'm in charge. In charge? In charge. Oh. And you'd better get used to the idea. You're out, and I'm in. What? And that's not all. A few changes around here, this place will suit me just fine. An excellent tea room. Me home gone, and all me little girl's bells gone. Just bells this time, eh? Oh, well. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ho. <laughs> Eight gold bells. But what do they mean? What is Teabag so afraid of? I don't know. She just said she couldn't stand music. Oh, no, it's more than just that. But what? Search me. Well, it's obvious what I have to do. Those bells be very important, and I have to get them back, that's all. Oh, what? Just like that, yes? <laughs> you leave this to me, Major. When Teabag finds out I'm here, she'll be shaking like a jelly. How long it would be before Smarty Pants showed up? Horrible Deborah. Vile child. T-shirt? Meow. T-shirt, stop larking about. Come here. See what the cat dragged in. Debbie! Hooray! My friend Debbie, that's Debbie, Your Majesty. I know who it is, thank you. And she's no longer your friend. Yes, she is. I say she isn't. She is my friend. She's not your friend. She is my friend. She's not your friend. She is my friend. She is your friend. She's not my friend. <laughs> Say that again. She's not my friend. Good, I'm glad we agree about that. In fact, you hate her. I hate her. You loathe her. I loathe her. You can't bear the sight of her fidgety, freckly face. I can't bear the sight of her fidgety, freckly face. Good. Now go and make me a cup of tea. We'll soon see who'll be shaking like a jelly if you dare to trifle with me, Deborah. No, 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 no. I cannot allow it. I'll have to face up the tea bag sometimes. You might as well be now. I forbid it. She'll do something horrible to you. As sure as eggs is eggs. Tea bag can't harm me. I'll be all right, Major. I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. Listen, I'll go up to the top of the mountain. I'll sort out this bell business, and I'll get your home back. You just see if I don't. Ah, well, you bucket loads of. Pluck, young lady, I'll give you that. Good luck. I'll be back in no time. Well, ready or not, teabag? Here I come. 
tea's up. Oh, good. Bliss. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nobody makes a better cup of tea than my little T-shirt. Isn't that so, my little cheeky chops? It's grand to have you back. It's great to have my magic back again, too. See who that is. T-shirt, hello. Am I glad to see you? Well, I'm not glad to see you. Who was it? Stinky Deborah. Well, don't leave the poor girl standing outside. Let her in. But I hate her. So do I, T-shirt. But we must be kind to dumb animals. Deborah. Tea bag. Do come in. My home is your home. It's not your home. It's Major Happy's home. You stole it from him. And you stole his golden glock and spiel. And I've come to get it back. Where is it? Wouldn't you like to know? I've beaten you before, Teabag, and I'll beat you again. Not this time, Deborah. This time will be different. I've scattered those pesky bells to the far corners of the world. There is no way you'll ever find them. There is a way, Teabag. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, isn't she too horrible? Oozing smarminess as ever. T-shirt. Right. Out, you. T-shirt. And don't show your horrible little face around here again, clear? I'll find those bells, teabag, and when I do, you'll get what's coming to you. Well, round one to me, I think. You were a knockout, Your Majesty. Yes, I thought so. Who is it keeps throwing these paper darts all over the place? Hmm? Little bug? Debbie, you're back. Bless your cotton socks. That didn't take you long. When can I see it? When can I move into my home? I've missed the old place, you know. Oh, how can I thank you enough? I, I, I'm afraid it's too soon for thanks. I haven't quite sorted things out yet, but I will. Oh. 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 Well, Teabag said the bells were scattered in the far corners of the world. The world is a big place. She's right. Oh, I don't know. It's not that big. <laughs> the world? You're joking. What, my world here? It's... Oh. Your world? The world of this musical box. Of course! Oh, you're losing me. Well, Teabag thinks she's scattered the bells in the far corners of the world. Yes. Well, she's living in this musical box now, so she could only have scattered them in the lands of the world that are on this musical box. The land you showed me on the side of the box. Oh! Oh, I get it! That was Teabag's first mistake. Oh, I hope she makes many more, eh? What? I hope so, too. Well, now I know I have to look. If you point me in the right direction, I'll be on my way. Ah, uh, it's not going to be easy. All the same, I have to try. I've got to stop Teabag once and for all. You wait here, Major, and I'll be back as soon as I've got all eight bells. Then we'll see what's what. I'll be here. Do not fret. Ever alert. Manning the fort until you return. I wish you well. I wish you good luck, and I wish you'd hurry up. <laughs> Goodbye, Major. Goodbye. Plucky. Very plucky. This music box is such an amazing place. One minute I'm up in the mountains, and the next I'm here in the desert. <sighs> and it isn't half hot. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, come quickly, look! What's up? Three guesses. Debbie's disobeyed you. She's set off in search of the gold bells. Indeed. Well, it comes as no great surprise. Words alone will never stop her. We're simply going to have to press home the point in a way that she'll understand and never forget. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yes. It's high time I made Madame Deborah sweat. <laughs> Roasting now, like an oven. Gotta keep going. Doesn't stop. 